M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So on the left, we've got the ICOM 706 Mark II G, which has HF 6 meters, 2 meters, and 70 centimeters. Also, I notice on the back of it, it has an extra cat lead here. On the right hand side, we've got the 706 Mark II, which is the same, very similar radio, looks identical, but it doesn't have 70 centimeters. And looking at the back, I can't see this. this cat interface here is it and you've got the uh, this one looks the same in the middle the same for the extension speaker the Kia microphone on the rear of the housing there the antenna tuner connector there power inputs so that all looks the same so we look at the front of the radios power preamp attenuator tuner core and phones menu, AFRF, knob, mic channel, shift, RIT sub, that all looks the same, mode, TS, RX, TX, LEDs, display and lock. And then you've got band up and down. So they, to me, they look identical. I haven't got, I haven't got a radio, but they look identical. I know they, they, that you can have a separation head, so you don't have to, the, the, the head unit doesn't have to be attached. Power wise, scrolling down here, it says HF, um, RF power, five to 100, on, this is on the Mark II G, six meters, five to 100, two meters, five to 50, and 70 centimeters, two to 20, okay. See if we've got the but the frequency coverage listed up here as well at the top 10 to 160 50 to 54 144 to 146 so these second hand nowadays are about 450 500 pound if you get a really one that's like new condition and and people do look after these radios on the mark II model Again, you've lost the 70 SEMs, you can see the receive there, but the power on two meters, I would say, is lower. So, the, you know, when these were out in their day, they were very popular radios. I think everyone had one. It was either one of these, or eventually you got the Yesu's 857, which covered 70 centimeters as well. Uh, and they've stood the test of time, and they're very popular with uh, licensed and non-licensed people uh, packed with functions of course so the original let's have a look at the original icon pamphlet which I've got one here this is it yeah this and it, there is a leaflet as well which we can look at 706 6270 so it's all there and you can download the manual and the brochure very nice so you can get it a bit bigger it's a nice looking radio, nice clear display. Pretty straightforward to use once you get used to the menu structure. Yeah, it looks nice on your table. I've got the SP7 speaker. The, as a stand, that, that looks like, is that a tuner, that one there? This is the 706 Mark II. So we've got the amazing evolution of the 706 series, 706 Mark II, and then I suppose it goes down to Mark II G incorporate all of the wizardry of the IC706 with refined features. So the 706, that also looks the same. The groundbreaking transceiver offered mobile size compactness including a detachable front panel with base station class performance and features. So there you go. thought I'd show it. It's an interesting bit of history and evolved eventually to the ICOM 7000 which is the colour screen one with built-in tuner if I remember right and all the bands, all the modes. And nowadays, what are we using for Shack in the Box for, seven, for ICOM, really? We're using the ICOM 705. I don't think they've got a 100 watt Shack in the Box radio. I'll just show you the ICOM 7000, which looked like this, and it's really way ahead of its time. And I can't think of a radio that does what this does with the 100 watts. And I'm sure it did have a tuner. I know you got a tuner button there. Or did you have to buy a separate ATU? Just look and see what it says. One touch operation, additional features, 
There is an auto choose. Oh, that's a t step, I think. Anyway, I thought I'd show this video. Bye for now. And there is a leaflet here for the 7,000 as well. I remember when it came out thinking, wow, that is the best radio I've ever seen. And it was just a nice size. Oh, you've got a DSP there as well. Digital filters, AGC, can't, AGC, sorry. Uh, quite small. And then, oh yeah, it had the external display and it even had the band scope, look. I think it's a bit of a keeper, isn't it? If you've got one of them, it's a keeper, isn't it? Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. Bye for now, 7-3.